Joining us from the Israel-Gaza border for the very latest, NBC News Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel with more. Richard? Well, there is now ground fighting inside the Gaza Strip, and we've been watching it intensify all weekend. Uh, this did not unfold the way some had expected with a, a blitz of divisions of Israeli troops and tanks going in, many reservists. Instead, we've seen uh, elite Israeli troops, book combat engineers, bulldozers, tanks, armored personnel, dismounted troops walking into Gaza, going in from multiple uh, directions, much of it focused uh, in the area on the northern Gaza Strip, which you can see behind me, there's been fighting ongoing this morning, uh, and there does there do seem to be clashes. We've seen uh, Israeli troops firing. We've also seen the Israeli troops coming under fire, uh, apparently from Hamas. Uh, we are now talking about a, a phase of street to street fighting. Uh, we have also just heard from witnesses that is Israeli tanks, according to to witnesses that have spoken to our crew, are on the main road, the Salah Hadin Road, which runs from the north to the south of the Gaza Strip. That would make it uh, impossible or at least very difficult for uh, Palestinians to follow Israeli orders to go from the north to go from the south. Uh, Israel has repeated those orders uh, with greater urgency this weekend, dropping leaflets, telling people to immediately leave Gaza City, leave all the areas in the north, to come out with their hands up, to carry white flags if possible, and to head south. But now with these reports of Israeli pr uh, troops cutting that road, uh, it makes that, uh, that mission uh, far more complicated, far more dangerous, if not impossible. So uh, let's talk about Biden's plea to slow this down, humanitarian pause. What about the civilians? Seeing a lot on social media, uh, you know, not sure what can be corroborated, but it, it's inevitable that civilians, there's going to be a lot of suffering if there isn't a pause. What are you hearing on the ground? So with the, the power and Internet restored, we are able to, uh, to talk to our teams directly in Gaza. So we're not relying on social media. We're not mm -hmm. relying on statements only from the Israeli army or from, from Hamas, certainly. Uh, there are many civilians who are still in Gaza, many civilians uh, who are in harm's way, many civilians who are sheltering in hospitals, hospitals that say that uh, they have received orders to evacuate because uh, Israel... Uh, says that they are uh, Hamas command centers and the, the doctors say that they cannot evacuate because they're providing services for hundreds of thousands of people who need them more uh, than ever. Uh, it, there are also many accusations that Hamas is holding people deliberately as human shields, uh, but our crews have not seen evident, any evidence of, of Hamas roadblocks uh, that, or, or any evidence that Hamas is uh, forcibly keeping people inside uh, of, of buildings. What they have seen are many terrified residents who don't know where to go, who don't believe that moving on the roads is any safer than staying where they are, and don't believe that heading south uh, carries any, uh, any a greater degree of, of safety than, than, than staying, uh, staying put. NBC News Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel, thank you very much with the latest.